we knew Ryan when he was a college kid and came in doing some programs and I think, you know, John Heratakis was kind of the visionary of Padre, you know, set the start of the whole foundation, but I say Ryan is the heart and soul of it. He's what brings people back, brings the kids back. If the kids don't want to come back, there's no Padre. When he was 13, he did not accept himself, did not accept his diabetes, was not really accepting of others. I know that's hard to believe because that's not how he is at all today. Um, I've seen him grow into the wonderful young man that he is today. He's limitless with type one. He makes it seem like you can literally do anything with your life if you have type one diabetes. And that's truly amazing. And it's inspiring to all the kids that we work with and all the kids that we meet and even just our friends. It truly is, he's truly an amazing person. I, I couldn't imagine our life without Ryan Martz. I think diabetes would have been a complete struggle without Padre, but even worse without Ryan Martz in our life. To me, Ryan the counselor was just, you know, his, the name they give him as of what he is to us at the beginning. But throughout the time, he became one of my best friends. Um, I looked up to him in a lot of ways, and at the end of camp when I knew it was going to be my last year, a um, whole group of us just crying because we know that's the last year that we're going to, you know, have to be together. He challenged me to uh, learn more about people with diabetes, and uh, most importantly, he challenged me to come back. He said that uh, the medical people never came back year to year, and 20 years later, we're still coming back. I feel like Ryan has rescued my family and rescued our son Matthew in making sure that he instantly felt at home and a part of the things in Padre. Becoming a teenager and going through all those steps, it was definitely a lot harder than you think it would be. And just having Ryan there for me and being able to call and shoot him a text saying I'm having a bad day and him being there for me has really helped. When I was younger, I, I pretty much wanted to pretend I didn't have diabetes, and that had a really horrible effect on my diabetes. I, I was completely out of control, and Ryan was there. He'd had diabetes 10 years longer than I had, so Ryan was there to coach me and tell me, hey, I've been through there. It's fine. You know, it, it'll be bad. It'll, it'll get better, and kind of was my straight line through it when I, when I was so crazy. I was at home and I was sleeping. It was like 11 o'clock at night. And my mom woke me up to take a shot because I forgot to take my Lantus. And I was mad. I was over diabetes. I actually threw my insulin syringe across my living room. So I got up and I grabbed my phone and I called Ryan and I was crying and upset. And he just has a way with words. He could, he just cheered me up and he made me keep going. If it weren't for him, I don't know where my life would be. Ryan, thank you so much for coming into my life and you're always, you're one of my best friends. I can honestly say that. Congratulations, Ryan. Um, I know that there are so many times where you are behind the scenes, so I'm glad that this is one time that everyone else can do something for you because you do so much for everybody else. Ryan, thank you for everything you do. I know it's hard dealing with everybody and all of us and it's, a struggle and you just keep getting better and better at it and I'm so grateful that you're in my life and that you spread light to everybody you're around because it's helped influence my life and everybody around me so thank you so much. Congratulations Ryan, thank you for always being there for me and for doing what you do for the entire community. More than you know you've made an impact on my life and uh, I don't know how, there, there's no words that can describe what you can, what you've done for me and you'll always be in my life, and you'll always be my best friend. Watching Ryan do what he does inspires me to help out and want to be just half the person of, of what he does and who he is for Padre. Ryan, for your own care, I want you to know that you're not alone either. We're here for you. We want you to be the best person you can be, and if you ever need help, Padre is here to support you too. We can never truly repay Ryan Martz for what he has done for diabetes and what he has done for those kids. This honor is just a small token of people's appreciations for what he's been able to do for the kids and the families living with type 1 diabetes. Ryan, I couldn't think of anybody more deserving of this award. I see you work tirelessly day in and day out, nights, days, early mornings, late nights, 
and you inspire me to do better in this in my life in the diabetes life and community and Padre and I just want you to know that I'm very appreciative of everything that you've done for me my family and all the kids and families of Padre and I am very proud that you are getting this and I love you there's no better example of how good of a human he is than the example of himself um, and why I consider him one of my best friends. Um, and he's not only changed my life, but so many others. I love you, bud, and, and nobody deserves this more than you do. Um, and I'm glad that you're being recognized for everything that you've done. Love you, bud. There's no one more deserving of it, and this day has been a long day coming. Again, I want to say congratulations. And please, for God's sakes, don't drop the award. Love you, buddy.